Alrighty, so I waited for the sun to come up to do a video because it's been a little dark. Anyway, so we got a call. Kind of stealing that from a friend. Uh, anyway, so Matt with Matt's Off Road Recovery called me and they've got a little bit of a difficult recovery to do. They're bringing the snow cat and they needed some heavy lifting. So, back there on the gooseneck is Trail Mater uh, with some newly installed uh, half doors and some plexiglass uppers to make kind of a make kind of a sealed cab so the heater kind of works. Cause uh, yeah, it's supposed to be pretty cold where we're headed and snowy and all that fun stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, I've got about a three, three to three and a half hour drive to head up to where we're going. We're heading up to Ephraim. We're gonna meet Robbie with Robbie Layton um, Automotive or Auto Body. I'm sorry. Uh, we're gonna meet with them, and then whoop, we're gonna meet with Robbie and Matt at Robbie's shop, and then head up there. So here we go. So here we are, we are going through Salina, Utah, headed for Ephraim, Utah. Anyway, gonna meet um, gonna meet Matt up at Robbie's shop and Ephraim. So kind of funny talking with uh, Matt the other day and setting all this up. And he said, well we're gonna have me and my crew, Robbie and his crew, and you and your crew. Which means I'm showing up with Trailmater and my phone. Um, I couldn't bring anybody with me. Uh, Matt, uh, I'm sorry, Mike. Mike took some time off to go see his parents. And um, so that leaves Sean at the shop alone. Um, getting the work done that's got to be done because the, the shop's backed up from the move we've got a bunch of work we got to get done so yeah um, is what it is so it's, it's just funny because you know I mean we're all rolling out for this big recovery and we're bringing our crew and my crew is me <laughs> me and my truck so I'm, I'm gonna do my best with filming, I just got a new mount and the only place I can mount it in the truck that doesn't vibrate like crazy is right here. So, um, there, there it is for right now. So you stare at my big dumb face while I drive down the road. Um, yeah, here we go. And then my, my lip is all puffed up from uh, working on Trail Mater yesterday and I got smacked by a piece of metal. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Like I said, one way or another, it's gonna be a fun day. Here we go. Here we are in Ephraim, Utah, at Robbie's shop. We got some hoods on here. And then, got the old doors on the tow truck last night, yesterday, whatever. These are JK half doors. And then some super custom made uppers. Yeah, the high quality units right there. Anyway, I got those on both sides. So hopefully it's gonna keep the heat in and keep we warm. Harvested? Yeah, out of the truck. Well, that, that's service with a smile. I didn't even have to un <laughs> unstrap or nothing. The aluminum hood. Nick Dinner wanted me to weld to the new. So here we are, testing out the new side windows and everything. Seems to be working good. I'm bundled up anyway because I like to plan ahead, and it is a little drafty in a couple spots. <laughs> anyway, so we are following Matt and Robbie. We are heading up here to unload them. I had to unload back here. Because I have the giant gooseneck. Because I've been lazy and haven't gone through and fixed everything on my little trailer. So, anyway, here we go. We're, we're heading up here to the staging area and get uh, gonna get the snowcat unloaded. Robbie's 
Jeep unloaded. Head up in there. What's up, Rory? How we doing? Good. You got the good chains. <laughs> yeah. The old V bar chains. Yeah. Not mine, they're borrowed, but they're, they're good chains. Yeah, they're aggressive. Those are the best kind. Yeah, they work awesome. Mine, mine are 37 inch Car Quest specials. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, these came off of a bus or a semi. Or something. Good luck for a yellow gate. We're going up that canyon. Way up there, yep. All the way to the back side. Does the road go okay. up the bottom of the canyon? You see where that V is? As far as you can see, down in the hole is where we're going. But yeah, the road does go up to that canyon, up that canyon. Up that canyon. But, here we are. We got my awesome, my awesome entire filming <laughs> thing going on. Awesome. Yeah. So we got Lizzie riding with us today. And we are following Robbie in the XJ and well, who is that? Matt Tucker and Trevor are all in the snowcat.
Okay, so we got Matt packing the road in here. Got a side winch run out. Gonna try and drag that thing up straight up over this way. Get back on the road. Hey, hold up, hold up. We got it broke loose now. Turn this way, Lizzie. There you go, right there. Let off a little, Matt. There's a pile of pallets right there. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, here we are out helping Matt and Robbie get this skid steer out of here, and we're teaching Matt about um, Bluetooth communication skills. What brand are those? Cena's. Cena's? Yeah. We need to look into them. Yeah, they're super handy. Hey, how's it going? See, I'm honored. I got Matt filming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We are up here in the mountains of Indianola. It's cold and it's starting to get dark and I'm starting to worry if this thing's coming out of here tonight. I, I said that yesterday. I said, I said, I gotta go up by Indianola. And somebody goes, you made that up. <laughs> <laughs> That's not really a name of You ready to crank? No daylight savings time. Feels like it's midnight. Well, well it's, I guess it's only about- It don't matter. All, all I care about is dark and it's here. Right. Has arrived. What's going on back there for the folks at home? Everybody's getting the jumper pack hooked up so we can try to see if this thing will start. Well, oh. now you know. <laughs> if you didn't know, now you do. Go do the rainbow. The more you know. Do, 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 do. All right, Rory is right there. We got the cable coming down here. Hooked right up to this. Okay, first and foremost, um, Matt says cable there, but it's a synthetic rope. Um, I run synthetic ropes on almost all of my winches except for the main boom, um, and they react differently. So you see a lot of times when I'm standing real close to the winch line, um, it's because a synthetic rope does not react where a cable would, where a cable snaps and breaks, you want to be out of the way. Um, when a synthetic rope breaks, it's not nearly as violent. Um, I broke a lot of winch lines. I've had them hit me. They don't hit you hard. Um, it, it releases all the, all the, all the energy real quick. Um, so that's why in a lot of my videos, you'll see me being real close to the winch line. Uh, I'm not saying it's a great practice, but once you've done it enough and you feel real comfortable with the winch line, that's why when I was pulling the skid steer, we did a basket strap around the bucket, and I did that with a hard strap. So that is, you don't want to use a kinetic rope in that instance because 
when you've got a bunch of tension on it and you've got the possibility of something breaking, the stored energy in that kinetic rope under tension with a winch can cause things to fly. So with a, with a, a regular strap, you take that tension out of it and if, if something were to break, then it would just drop. Um, with, a, with a kinetic rope in that instance, um, if it did break, it could have launched this, um, this shackle piece into hillbilly in the, in the skid steer or something, and that would be horribly bad. So anyway, that's every situation takes different rigging, and that's why I rig it the way I do. There he goes. Okay. That track's got some problems. Aside from being completely frozen, it's uh, off the front roller, but it's off on the inside, so. Got them hoods loaded up? Yeah, everything's I'm, loaded up on the truck. I'm glad we didn't use those. <laughs> well, now the fun starts. Could drag two more trucks out. All right, I'm gonna give this back to you. All right. Good job, Rory. I'm, Thanks, gla sir. I'm glad you could come. <laughs>
So, yeah, I came out of Moab this morning and came over to help Matt and Robbie with a recovery because I was seriously intrigued when they said two full-size trucks and a skid steer. So that sounded that sounded fun and interesting. So in Indianola. Yeah, yeah. Indianola. It's a real place. That's the name of this place. I, I had to I had to come through Mus and touch it. <laughs> to get to Indianola. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching. This is what you do after after I say thanks for watching. Then put this little clip in right here.